dearest heart there is a chance to see an opportunity with fresh perspective and with this being able to re invigorate it and breathe new life into it so it can sometimes take a while to see the potential of what is being offered by the universe and we may not see how things can work out part of this may have been due to spending too much time in your own head space and as a result looking solely to yourself and your mind for the answer rather than looking co create with spirit in working out the answers this leads to a limiting mindset on what could be achieved and only seeing how things might fail rather than the success the mind can be a good protector but it can also overprotect and lead you to be over defensive which makes you think small and when it comes to possibilities to go for what appears to be the safer option rather than stand up for what is in your heart and if you take this change and stick with it success could really be achieved here and even though there may be a few bumps along the road if you stay the course and focus on what it is you really want you will find that so focus and determination will help you overcome any hurdles you need to deal with So what matter is whether you are aligning yourself to what your soul is calling you to do and not settling for less. So keep asking yourself the question what does this have to do with my soul plan and is what I am doing or about to do in support of my soul plan. If it is don't let your mind talk you out of it some of you need to set healthy boundaries but this may not be with another and this may be within yourself So regarding letting your mind became over protective of you and giving you doubts creating self sabotage and keeping you back So you need to learn new way of being and learn little tactics that stop those negative thoughts in their tracks and instead it trust that you can work with spirit in a way and that co creates that which is in line with your soul plan So dear souls know that someone is breaking your heart but now they are feeling you are made for them you have lost something or someone very dearly of you and in recent times but you are trying to move forward in your life instead of crying for it so your life is transforming very fast from past two years lost was also a part of transformation many big changes are coming your way which you can't see right now and because you are too focused on your work you are not counting your earning your blessings you just want to do your work and wait for it is result which is a very nice thing for you right now so also you are not able to see that many blessings are coming your way and some of them has already entered your life
so everyone is talking about you your work your success you are getting appreciated for your hard work but some of you feel like this respect this love is not for you so it is for the power you have right now or you have in the upcoming time but that is not fully true there are some people who genuinely loves you respect you and for whatever you are going doing right now so there is someone coming back in your life who hurt you by their behavior very badly and this person themselves left you without giving any specific reason or without any closure at all but now they have realized that they made a mistake they was over over by they all took this wrong decision and the choose wrong people over you and they want to make things right they want to undo their mistakes this person is not coming alone and they are coming with a lot of good luck and also offer of commitment so you have almost give up on this person whether it is a lover or it is a friend you don't have any hope left for it but it is has to do a lot more than you think so you will get opportunity to improve your lifestyle and also you will get opportunity do something for your family in the upcoming of four months so dear souls know that the full moon is bringing up someone from your past back in your life and they miss you a lot and could be reminiscing the moments you share together so their soul is awakening to your love it is possible you both share many past lives together so they have a bit of an ego and need to work on forgiveness at grudges resentments old wounds hold them back from expressing their true self to you so these they desperately want to take action towards you and you might hear from them in the next 15 days you can expect lots of flirtations conversation and as this person loves to have your attention you both will mirror each other heavily especially in terms of communication so throat chakra needs to be worked upon the next 15 days will see you chasing your goals with confidence victory and success is yours at the workplace so you are being judged for the work you do and you will soon be rewarded for the same you might plan to go back to a job that you used to love or thoughts about a past work situation may cross your mind so you could be dealing with highly influential stubborn authoritative people at the workplace or you could be the one being promoted to a higher post So dear souls know that you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information and do research or seek expert advice before making a decision when you are facing difficult times or trying to make a decision can be challenging to make the right choice previous experiences can invite a feeling of confusion and fear and when you allow fear to dominate what you feel in your heart the fear will take over and create insecurity on making that decision 
सो दिस इज़ अ मैसेज डेट यू हैव द पावर ऑफ चॉइसिस एंड नो मैटर वॉट ऑब्स्टिकल्स यू आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग एंड नाउ इज द टाइम टू फेस द फीयर्स एंड रिलीज दैम so fear is an emotion and we experience it at different times in our lives this is when you need to dig deep in your heart for the light and it will encourage you to push forward and fight through obstacles and negativity so release and surrender fear and let go of past old wounds and start fresh so give it to god and let him lead your path you have a beautiful light deep inside you don't allow anyone or anything dull your sparkle so moving out of darkness towards the light away from fear and towards clarity from dreams to creation so spirit is guiding you to see through the will of illusion and notice what is really going on you may have more offers than you realize and it is clear that some more offers are on their way so you may only be able to choose one so this is going to be decision time about who or what you are going to go with so all that patience you have had recently is about to pay off the arrival of someone or something is still being hidden from us but spirit is teasing us with the message that it is nearly here so dear souls know that whatever situation you find yourself in right now is exactly what you need for soul growth there are no expectations to this divine rule your soul is always pulling in the perfect scenario and people for you to get activated pushed stimulated and aroused into growing through fear you may sometimes create similar repetitive experiences in order to really move through some issues but once you have healed the internal patterns that are being brought up by this events so you would not find yourself in the same situation what is going on now is vital for your internal growth and spiritual development so you are always being asked by your soul to look at where you are most scared of change you are always being required to move into areas that bring you out of number out safety zones so right now feel into a situation that is causing you concern anxiety emotional upset or confusion ask yourself if i know what is my soul wanting me to look at here so where is my soul wanting to take me next how is my soul needing me to expand my mind my heart my consciousness and what is the universe asking me to heal the places that your soul is wanting guide you to nearly always require taking a leap of faith and they will always demand that you address your self limiting fears so very often what your soul wants is for you to do the very thing that most scares you and this is usually the route to the highest growth and very healthy new territory because it is only your fear about what could happen 
and that hold you back from a life of your dreams repeatedly giving into fear is a dangerous way to live because fear is so good as masquerading itself as the comfortable the easy option and the safe option the try and tested option but a life lived in fear is a crippled half lived life just behind fear lies universe shattering power all of the fear that you harbored right now those that are telling you that it is safer to remain close safer to stay hidden so safer to continue to exist with a trapped hurt safer to believe that you will fail if you try and all of them are unfounded they are simply not true breaking out of your shell breaking out into new ways of living and the divine masculine and feminine are ending separation and fully embracing each other as equals you no longer need to dim your light in division The lessons needed to help break that spell are no longer necessary. You are free and safe to shine bright for all to see as unified and whole. Express yourself and what you want with self-confidence and love breathe relax. Heal, be happy, receive love and success and receive the life you have always wanted. and nothing can stop this any longer the root chakra is clearing the entities that have been stealing your stability health vitality safety security and wealth these entity attachments come through genetic ancestry and intimate relationships and as you move away from This thieves your body can return to its original authentic self of pure source life force energy. And this is one of the reason of why you came here ground crew to break this cycle for good and it will no longer continue for another generation. So loving and accepting all parts of self for internal marriage and uniflexion as while well, you return into the merkaba god's chariot of ascension and into the light body shine bright ground crew and rise into the crystalline light that you are so dear souls know that twin flames struggle with similar issue so if your twin flame has issue with fear of loss or being rejected deep down somewhere you do too and what happens is in this experiences whatever happening feels so real so early on in this journey we focus on our twin's behavior that is causing us pain so it is easy to look at the other twin point fingers and focus on our twin issues thinking how their actions are causing you to feel unhappy so however every time we focus on our twin flame unwanted behaviors words we miss the very point of the point of this to control us and our thoughts but not control another and we perpetuate our own suffering if you notice we never get what we want in this journey using control we miss our own issue that are coming out by focusing on twins behavior we do not like so when we feel triggered by our twin rather than thinking about our twin and why they triggered us 
pause step back and acknowledge say to yourself wait a minute and this is upsetting me so i don't like it but my twin flame is showing me what i need healed in myself so we can come together again in this physical plane if we don't acknowledge this we will not be at levels high enough to come to union this is why it is so important not to blame our twins many obsess over their twins action and i understand it because the triggers cut deep initially however i can tell you first hand it is in our control to not allow it to get to us at all and when my twin initially told me he was seeing other people i thought of how much he caused me pain and his perpetuated my suffering until with help from divine forces i was able to see the truth we are always one with our twin flames and they are simply playing a role to push us to accelerate the path to higher levels of consciousness on our journey and who they are in love and who we are is love try to look for the love they are always no matter what is going on the task for us is to not be impacted by our twins behavior no matter what they are doing we are fine because we are in our truth we do not need outside validation we know truth and when we look within we find wholeness that we are searching for as within so without dear souls know that a strong woman never gives up on herself even when her whole world collapses even when her heart is heavy and her troubles are relentless she still keeps the faith so she takes one more brave risk she gives herself a thousand more chances she keeps going no matter what because this is who she has became so she found herself alone time and time again she found herself in situations where she had to defend herself and fight back alone so she learned the hard ways that people can be there for her but at the end of the day she truly only has herself and she can't give up on it a strong woman has no other option she learn how to recover quickly from the things that knock her down she learn that life goes on even after the hardest losses she learn that she has to knock on many doors and find opportunities so she can be prepared for the random changes in her life So no matter what she is going through a strong woman will always show up for her loved ones and she will still exercise and take care of herself She will still get her work done pay her bills love and be present in her life because she has learned that all these dark times eventually pass A broken heart eventually heals confusion eventually turns into clarity all the questions eventually get answered and little by little life gets better the sun shines again and things change new beginnings restore her faith in life and sometimes life even surprises her with something wonderful 
something even better than what she hoped for. A strong woman never give up on herself because she knows that everything else will come and go but she is the only constant in her life and she is her own pillar. A strong woman builds herself within so that even if she cracks under pressure she knows how to rebuild herself again. So dear someone no I think the hardest part about watching someone leave is knowing that once they are gone you will have to find your way back to yourself It's like walking to your destination only this time the place you have always wanted to go to disappears and it is knowing that you would have done everything in your power to make them stay but they did not want to be chosen anyway i know you think you meet them for a reason and that this is not probably the end but you have to know that you did actually meet them for a reason so they made you realize that you can love so much even when you think all parts of your heart are too tired to beat for everyone and they made you realize that you give so much and it is time you pour the love you give to others on yourself sometimes the most loving thing you can do is let them go this does not mean that you have given up on love it means you deserve better You can't love them into loving you. You deserve to be loved, wanted, cherished and if at the moment you never find someone who constantly makes you feel like you are worth living for, then maybe right now all you need to find is yourself. All you need to do is heal that wounded person you were before. you got hurt all you need to do is heal from every wound until your scars remind you of how resilient and brave you were when your world had shattered so dear souls know that here lord krishna states that her reciprocates with everyone as they surrender to him for those who deny the existence of god he meets them in the form of the law of karma he sits in the their hearts notes their action and dispenses the results on the other hand for those who turn their mind away from worldly attractions and look upon god as the goal and refuse He take care of them just as a mother take care of her child. He serves the surrender souls by destroying their accumulated karmas of endless life times, cutting the bonds of maya, removing the darkness of material existence and bestowing divine bliss, divine knowledge and divine love. and when the devotee learns to god selflessly he willingly enslaves himself to their love having learned about the surrender soul's desire and how does he respond to the request he says that he treats all requests like an impersonal computer system whatever we input similar will be the output and if someone truly and deeply desire a promotion and works hard towards it so he will get it similarly if someone truly and deeply desire moksha or realization of the eternal essence 
and puts in the effort he will get it the power of ishvara is impartial it is without any prejudices or hatred just like electricity one day harshness electricity to power of fan to light a room to watch television and so on electricity will never say i do not like television so i will not power it but i will power the fan ishvara actions are based on laws just like the laws of nature so dear souls know that when you remember to eat on time every day you remember the days you spent at a home with your mother cooking your favorite food knowing exactly when you get time to eat so when you hold hands with a friend while crossing the road you remember the grip of your father's hand quite but firm when you take a sip of your evening coffee you remember making it for your sibling after beating it for 10 long minutes and when you pick up a sweater in winter you feel the warm of your grandmother knitting one in a color that reminds you of christmas so we may not get a chance to build every second of our life with every person we love but somehow with every passing day we feel our lives being built around their affection so maybe that is what trust form of love is all about in being felt when it can't be seen so dear souls know that today spirit is guiding you towards making a compromise you may be butting heads with someone or both wanting different things and spirit shows that there is a solution but you will both have to agree to meet in the middle somewhere what are you prepared to sacrifice and what must be fulfilled take some time to think about you approach and whether there is a way around the problem it is a good day for communicating and working with others towards a goal everyone needs to get their heads together to find a solution because things will move forward quickly once this happen type yes if you have faith in angels